ended up recording it for seven bass players, mm -hmm. and I can only play it live um, by playing two of the parts. So it's not going to be the full tune. So here's, here's a tune called Riff Raff, but only two of the bass parts. stuff. So to do this much playing on this instrument is a challenge for me. 
So this keeps moving around. When I have my, my bass, it's more like part of my body, you know, so I don't think about motion. But anyway, making excuses. Let's do, I got, I got, is Kumar okay? Yeah, yeah. Well, am I boring you guys? No. no. Okay. <laughs> All right, because this, you know, it's, it's not like a real bass, but this one's from, um, you know, we mentioned the, the album A Vintage Year in the film. And does anybody have that record? Anybody Mel Torme fans out there? Mm -hmm. well, <laughs> next to the Christmas record that I did with him, that was his next biggest selling record ever. Mm -hmm. uh, it was in, done at the Palm Sun Winery in 1987. And this was a tune, see, the, the George Shearing was a blind piano player. So my being on that gig and not having rehearsed with those guys and everything, it forced Mel and George to, to work together and put, to put a show together that there was no music written for because uh, George couldn't read the charts, you know, so they put together a show in, in the span of a rehearsal that became one of the best records they ever made together. It was amazing. And this is the tune that they did that just floored me. And um, I just remember, as, as we were on stage doing this song, that, that it was so mystical and so amazing, the empathy they had with each other and the, the simpatico. And um, I just, I was listening to this and I just knew my life was never going to be the same had that kind of mysticism to it. It's a tune that was written by Harold Arlen, mm -hmm. and it's uh, called Out of This World. Thank mm -hmm. you. 